What is good everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today we are doing something a little bit differently. This is actually a video idea that I wanted to do a while now and I, I've had it saved up in the bank and I just now remembered and I had all these photos saved up on my phone from a time I went on Instagram and I asked you guys, all of my followers, I asked, I said, I'm going to do a video, just send me a funny WWE action figure pick, you know, a scenario or like a little setup or something funny or a joke or whatever you can come up with, please send it to me and I'll I want to plug it into a video and today is that video today i'm going to plug in the best ones that were sent to me you know the ones that i thought were pretty funny the ones that i got a kick out of and i think you guys will enjoy them too uh another thing i want to point out is if you guys have a your own submission after watching this video you have your own submission you'd like to put in then uh, feel free you can hit me up in my email or on instagram at my damn toys and that will be it so if you have a funny one go ahead and send it to me now or uh, take the time think of a cool joke funny stuff and create it and send it to me but anyway Anyways, let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. So this first one, guys, comes from my boy Harrison, and this is really awesome. This is probably one of the first ones that I got submitted to, and you guys know that I'm a huge John Cena fan, so this is pretty much what John Cena looks like to us WWE fans, right? I mean, he's invisible, you can't see him, but his clothes... Or do not take part in that ability to be invisible. So here he is in the middle of the ring. I thought this was really nicely edited. Obviously, it's a John Cena Elite, but he edited out, you know, where his face would be. Very unique, very cool. This is actually his profile picture on Instagram, and I think this is great. I really enjoyed this, and it is a really cool picture. I think it's pretty funny, though. And if you guys want to follow him on Instagram, I have everybody's picture that is featured here today will be put right there, so you guys can go follow him. But Harrison is a really great pick fetter, and I really love this submission. I wanted to plug it in here. So John Cena is the first he had to be since he's the GOAT, right? Our next picture, guys, is from my boy Wally, and this one's pretty funny. We have a concert going on right here, and uh, at the time, his his current champion on his pick fed, his main champion, was Kyle O'Reilly, and you guys know how Kyle O'Reilly, when he comes out with the Undisputed Era, he's playing the guitar and everything. So here we have uh, we have Kyle O'Reilly playing the uh, championship guitar like he does on his entrance with Elias' his actual guitar, so I thought that was pretty funny and creative that he would have his own little concert right here between Kyle O'Reilly with his championship and Elias with his guitar guitar and um, I'm, I'm wondering if one will attack the other here in this concert I think that would be pretty funny there but shout out to him and his Instagram is there if you'd like to follow him Next up, guys, we have my boy Teenage Toy Collector right here, and this one's pretty funny. You have Deadpool and Brock Lesnar, I guess, in a match of sorts, and I guess things went a little bit too far here as Brock Lesnar is down on the ground begging for his life as Deadpool is about to shoot this man and end his life, so that is pretty funny there. You have Deadpool, sort of a crossover there, and it's pretty cool how he's hidden uh, the size of those figures there with that, uh, that sort of perspective that he's gone with, where it's like down looking up at Deadpool. Really good shot there from my boy Teenage Toy Collector. And and that's another thing, guys. If you want to plug in a Marvel figure or other figures, you know, to fit around your scheme or your joke or make something up, you can do that. I have actually a couple in this video that have Marvel characters in it. So there is that. Deadpool shooting Brock Lesnar. Haha, <laughs> funny to, to laugh at murder. Next up, guys, we have one from Mattel Elite for Life. This is a really funny take right here. You have Vince McMahon, Tony Stark, and the Hulk. And you have Tony Stark saying, you know, we have a Hulk like he did in the Avengers movie. And um, so then the next slide, he says, well, so do we. It's Vince McMahon, and he's pointing to Hulk Hogan. So Tony Stark and the Hulk, totally confused there. And you guys can kind of see, like, the difference in the size of the figures there with how uh, short the Tony Stark is. But this is really creative. I really enjoyed this one. One of my favorite submissions here uh, with Hulk Hogan and the Hulk. Um, I'm not a Hulk Hogan fan. I know he is, so uh, I think I'd have the Hulk destroy Hulk Hogan. Next up, guys, we have one from OJB right here, and it is a picture of James Ellsworth with a fake mustache and an MDT shirt on with Bobby Roode's robe, and Bobby Roode is upset, so he's saying that's my robe, obviously, because James Ellsworth stole it. So uh, James Ellsworth is a thief here, and he's representing MDT. Shouldn't be representing MDT, right? I mean, that's that's messed up, man. He's stealing robes, it's wearing my T-shirt. Like, what are you, insane, Brad? You're trying to get me in trouble there? So I thought that was pretty funny there with Bobby Roode getting his robe stolen. Next up, guys, we have one of my favorite submissions, I do believe, and you have, this is a really creative one. You have DDP, and you guys will notice that everybody on the ground is doing yoga because of DDP yoga. You guys know what that is. If you guys don't know what DDP yoga is, he's a yoga instructor. He has his own DVDs, and he sells them and all this stuff. So what we have is DDP instructing one of his yoga classes here, and you have a bunch of superstars down on the ground doing the yoga, but you have uh, Samoa Joe here who cannot do, you know, the poses and, you know, get in the right look of the yoga poses he's supposed to be doing. DDP is saying, come on, Joe, downward dog. 
A downward dog is a specific move that you do in a yoga class. It's like a very, uh, it's a very popular one. It's one of the well-known ones. And so uh, Joe is saying, "Sorry, Paige, I have crappy articulation." Giving, you know, making a joke on how crappy the Samoa Joe figures are and how he can't really, uh, he can't get in other positions that other figures can. So that's really creative, right there. Very creative stuff by Basement Tape Wrestling, and he has a good pick fed as well. So you guys should go check that out. Next up, guys, we have one from I Like Stoof here, and it's basically just Kofi Kingston, the WWE Champion, giving a huge chair shot to the skull of Hulk Hogan, and I think this is pretty cool. You know, nothing too crazy, nothing too over the top, but it is uh, it is funny here, and I, I guess this is supposed to be a take on, you know, the words that Hulk Hogan said, and I guess rightfully so, he deserves a chair shot to the skull. So uh, there is Hulk Hogan getting busted over the head by Kofi Kingston. Next up, we have a really creative one, and it's sort of custom right here. This is really, really good by Total Diva Customs. They submitted this Alexa Bliss, and what they do with their figures, guys, is they, they take off the hair, and then they replace it with, like, real Barbie hair, so it's, like, realistic hair that the, the female superstars have. And so uh, I do believe this happened in real life, right? Naomi came up to Alexa Bliss and yanked out her hair, and she had a strand of her hair pulled out, and that's what this is representing. So you can actually see there's a bald spot there. Uh, the hair is pulled out, and uh, Naomi's sitting there smiling and I think she actually shared this on Twitter or Instagram she liked this and then put it on her story or liked it so Naomi actually saw this picture thought it was funny and plugged it in there so I got to plug it in here and uh, talk about that and it is really creative it's a really funny picture and Total Diva Customs nailed this one Next up, guys, we have another one of my favorite ones. I think this one is hilarious, and it says, When you're waiting for the number 30 entrant at the Royal Rumble, you have the top portion. You have Freddy Krueger and Jeff Hardy, you know, really, really excited, ready to go. And then at the bottom, it says, And it's Nia Jack. So it's like, you know, you're waiting patiently for number 30, and then it's the terrible, atrocious Nia Jax. Totally ruins everything. That is super funny right there. And you can see their faces. Freddy Krueger's face is, like, ridiculous. I, it's, like face is like melted off he looks like a zombie i mean he looks like a zombie anyway but look at that face that is hilarious and then jeff hardy's like no what are you doing are you kidding me so that is really good right there and uh, I, I just now noticed, I've been so focused on Jeff Hardy and Freddy Krueger. I didn't even notice Shane McMahon, like, walking off like he's done. He took his hat off and he's done, so that's really funny there. I just now noticed that just now. But, yeah, guys, when Nia Jax was in the Men's Royal Rumble, I, I didn't like that at all. But uh, she got her due, right? She got RKO'd and sent out of there, so that was hilarious. But uh, moving on to the next picture, this is probably, I think this one's my number one. I know I keep saying this one's my favorite, this is my favorite. This one, I think, is my number one, but we have had so many great submissions. I love all of them. They're really funny but right here we have like a pick fed sequence and this one is hilarious uh samoa joe has the coquita clutch locked in on matt hardy and there's a couch right here that the man custom made aw or afw and so uh, samoa joe locks in the coquita clutch matt hardy goes limp and samoa joe lays matt hardy down with a pillow he has a pillow mind you there is a pillow there lays him down on the couch gets a napkin blanket i know that's a napkin i mean it just looks like it it's one of those dollar tree napkins which makes it even funnier but it does make it it, it does look like a blanket. I'm not going to lie to you. So he drags the blanket over Matt Hardy's dead corpse. And Matt Hardy's going to sleep because, you know, Joe puts you to sleep. Coquita Clutch lays out Matt Hardy. And that is hilarious. I love that. That is that is easily my favorite one or one of my favorites by far. And we've had so many great submissions. I think this has been a really good turnout. I hope you guys, uh, if you're watching right now, I hope you take the time and you actually do it yourselves. And send me a funny photo. I think these are hilarious. And hopefully you guys are getting a kick out of this. But the last one, I think, I think this is the last one or second to last one we have uh casey sent in this and it's just the demon finn balor and he's getting stabbed by kurt angle with a pencil so we just have a number two pencil i don't even know if it's sharpened yeah it's sharpened it's just they're doing that optical illusion where you put it through the gap um on your side there so it looks like you're getting stabbed that's pretty funny so if finn balor getting stabbed to death by kurt angle with a number two pencil really good stuff by casey and the last one is not really a funny photo, but it is sort of a fantasy matchup by WEF to the limit. And it is the Undisputed Era taking on The Shield with Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, and Dean Ambrose. And this one is definitely a fantasy matchup of mine. I would love to see this matchup take place. Sadly, I don't think we'll ever get it. And uh, if we do, it will not be with John Moxley or Dean Ambrose unless something crazy happens in the future which I, I don't know if that'll ever happen. But anyways, that is it for all of the funny pictures, guys. I would love to know down below which one was your favorite. You know, again, if you want to submit your own, please do go to my email. My email can be found in the description, mydamntoys at gmail.com. You can uh, submit a photo that's funny to me, or you can hit me up on Instagram at mydamntoys and send it. I'll screenshot it. I'll take notes and everything, and I'll plug it into a video and react to them. I really do love these. I think they're really funny. I think they're really creative. And uh, I think we knocked it out of the park 
start with this first one. I think uh, that we did a really good job, and I am I'm really looking forward to the next set. So please send me some more guys that are really great. If you guys enjoyed this series, please uh, let me know down in the comment section below, leaving a like, comment down below your favorite one. I guess these are sort of memes. I guess some of them are memes. But uh, thank you guys for watching. That is going to do it for the hilarious WWE action figure picks. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my name Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.